Hello everyone. Today I am going to show you how to create geometrical pattern using UV information in Houdini. So let's move into Houdini. So over here I just call some basic geometry that is available in Houdini. So over here I have face and I already set something like this over here and over here I have one more test geometry that is big head. Okay, and make sure that whatever geometry you are going to use for this practice purpose, uh, you make sure that uh, they are properly unwrapped. Okay, because this is based on UV and uh, UV information, and uh, I'm not going to show you that how to unwrap uh, and everything like that. Okay, as well as we need some patterns. So over here, I already created some pattern. Like over here, we have that hexa pattern. Over here, we have some uh, puzzle pattern and over here I have some grid pattern okay so uh, make sure that because we are going to deal with UV this particular pattern should cover within this one by one square that is covered in XY coordinate where uh, it should be covered 0 0 to 1 1 of XY Okay, so we are going to use one of that pattern in that. So now first of all, what happened that uh, over here we have this model which has properly unwrapped. But the thing is that right now the UV information lie onto what I say. So I have to promote that particular stuff onto points. Okay, as well as I want to separate that particular stuff according to the seams. Okay, so for that purpose over here, I just call one point split operator in which first of all I need to define that vertices is my main group over here I have to define attribute so that should be my UV I just remove that and and over here I just click on this promote to point okay so now my UV information lie on to point okay now over here I am going to create one attribute wrangle in which I am going to set this particular position into point. So for that purpose I just write down at p is equal to at u semicolon over. Okay, so now see my u information now set into 3 ok now what am I going to do over here is that I am just creating one poly actual apply some little bit value over here click on this out back so we will get something like this over here now I just apply one match size and over here I just set no, no, and in Z we just set like that in center. Okay, now over here I am going to apply one boolean in which the pattern that I want to set onto my object that should be as my A and this UV that actuated UV that I set it to B. Okay, and over here I just apply X, uh, that operation is subtract and make sure that over here and over here I just said zero okay and over here I just said this as surface and I just set it to intersect actually okay so now we will get something like this over here in which we have that uh, UV information but with that patterns okay now over here I just set one fuse so if there is some issue with anything like that so it, it will automatically fusing that particular stuff now over here I just apply one normal to set normal in proper direction so right now I just reverse that particular stuff or I just ignore that okay now uh, next thing is what am I going to do is that over here I just write down one attribute wrangle now this information is my first incoming and the attribute wrangle from here I just set it like over here 
Okay, so now over here we have that U information, over here we have that intersect pattern and the pattern which basically define in that uh, UE pattern. Now over here I need to transfer that information in a proper manner. So over here what am I going to do is that I, over here I just create uh, one attribute name source primitive and one more that is source primitive u and over here i am going to apply one x y z distance in which i am going to apply that one that is this because this consider as zero input this is my first input so from one i need to call at p so uh, basically we consider that point as my things and over here I am going to basically call this attribute okay so I have to write down actually at comma at source primitive UV okay so basically this XYZ distance find the distance from a point to on the geometry and write the primitive numbers and UV coordinate of the closest location into the output argument. And so basically now it stored that information into this. Now over here I am going to apply one more that is attribute interpolate. Okay, in which I just apply this and my object from here to here. Okay, now it's as the same element number attribute that is source primitive and over here we have that source primitive UA. So we just set that uh, name according to that. So now we do not worry about that. And see, we will get that pattern onto my geometry. Okay, so I just apply one normal over here. And now you see, you can find like this. Okay, so maybe you just change your pattern, maybe over here I just change. So now see we will get some puzzles over here. Maybe boxes over here or you can see that checker over here. Even you can change the model. See. like this okay so that's how you can set your patterns into your model using uv information okay so hope you like this tutorial see you soon with another tutorial thank you